Hello everyone, I am Smith Bawa, an application engineer for electromagnetics with Altair Engineering. In this video, I will demonstrate a hassle-free process of coupling FECO and HyperStudy for electromagnetic design optimization. FECO is a comprehensive 3D electromagnetic simulation software suite that has few of the best computational electromagnetic solvers that enable engineers to solve wide range of electromagnetic problems like antenna design, antenna arrays, antenna placement, RFID problems, calculation of radar cross-section, radome design, pattern synthesis uh, with characteristic model analysis. ECHO can also solve EMC, EMI problems, lightning and cable analysis and, bio and bioelectromagnetic problems. FECO has a solver interface, uh, which is referred to as FECO solver. It also has a powerful pre-processing and post-processing interface called CAD FECO and POST FECO respectively. Altair HyperStudy is a multidisciplinary design exploration software that helps engineers to improve their designs. HyperStudy enables users to explore, understand and improve their designs using methods such as design of experiments, response surface modeling, and optimization. Results from these studies can be easily analyzed and interpreted using HyperStudy's advanced post-processing and data mining capabilities. The workflow for conducting optimization with FECO and HyperStudy is as simple as the three steps that are shown on the, on the slide. The first step includes setting up the model in the preprocessor, that is CAD FICO. This step involves building the parametric model, meshing the model, setting up the solution settings, and running the FECO solver. Once the solver has completed solving the problem, the results can be observed in the post processing step in post FICO. The required results that need to be optimized can be added to any one of the plots that are available in PostFICO. And once the PostFICO session is saved, we can run an internal script that generates a Lua file which contains information about all the design output parameters that need to be optimized. After this step, or once the Lua script is generated, the model file will be fed to HyperStudy for further setup. The design variables can be modified in HyperStudy to set up the optimization. HyperStudy uses the generated Lua file by PostFICO to create an output response which can be used to extract the required results. We will use a patch antenna as an example to demonstrate the workflow presented in the previous slides. This is a FECO model of a simple rectangular patch antenna that is modeled in millimeters. It is fed using a microstrip line as seen in the 3D view. On the left of the screen, we see the defined variables that realize the design parameters like dimensions of the substrate, radiating patch, frequency, and other parameters. The dielectric media FR4 is selected from the material library in FECO and is used as a substrate for the patch antenna. As you can see in the 3D view, the radiating rectangular patch is made of perfect electric conductor and the substrate is assigned the material of FR4. The antenna is solved using finite element method in FECO which is accessed through the properties of the region. We have assigned an FEM line port as seen in the 3D view to excite the microstrip transmission line that feeds the radiating patch. The frequency is set using the variable which is assigned the value of 2.44 gigahertz. A current source is placed on the FEM line port to provide the necessary excitation. Our aim 
is to minimize the antenna's reflection coefficient that is calculated as a part of source data. This can be achieved by optimizing the dimensions of the rectangular radiating patch. Once the parametric model is built, we can mesh the geometry by going to the mesh tab and using the standard mesh size option. Once the mesh is generated, we can save the model and invoke Pico Solver from the Sol Run tab. A new execution window displays the solver stages and current status of the problem. Once the solution is generated, we can click on OK to observe the results in post Pico. To observe the results, we open Post Pico from the Solved Run tab. As Post Pico opens up, we observe the mesh of the geometry in the 3D view. To observe the reflection coefficient, we open a new Cartesian plot and add the results that are calculated as a part of current source data. We observe that the reflection coefficient is close to minus 2.45 dB. This means that the antenna design is not appropriate to radiate efficiently at the desired frequency of 2.44 GHz. So we have to optimize the design using hyperstudy or optimization algorithms in FECO. To do that, first we save the post FECO session as required. The result can be saved on the Cartesian plot. A user can have multiple output responses on the same Cartesian plot. Once this is done, we run the create hyperstudy extraction script macro from the application macro library. Once the script runs, it will prompt you that the generation of the script is done. After performing the previous step, if we look in the directory where the model is saved, we will find a file called patch antenna cfx extract.lua. This Lua file basically consists of all the output responses that would be considered as a output parameter in our optimization study in hyperstudy. After the Lua script or the output response is extracted, open HyperStudy. The HyperStudy user interface is as shown on the slide. Click on New Study to create a new project. Change the label to an appropriate name. We change it to Patch Optimization. Next, select the location where you want to save the study. Once this is done, a new study is ready to be created. The first step is to feed the FECO model to HyperStudy. To do this, we click on Add Model and select FECO from the solver list. Then by clicking on the folder icon under the Resource section, we can browse to the FECO model file and select it. To enable solving using multiple cores, the solver input argument can be modified by adding NP followed by the number of cores to be used. Once this is done, we click on Import Variables. HyperStudy calls the FECO model and compiles the list of variables in the model file. All the variables in the model file are visible in as we click on Next. We uncheck all the variables that are not supposed to be part of the optimization. For simplicity, we add only the length and the width of the radiating patch as design variables and click Next. Next, we click on Run Definition. This phase is responsible to write, execute and extract the value from the result. During the write phase, HyperStudy will create subdirectories with a copy of the model and all the files that the model depends on to be executed. During the execution phase, the solver will run and the output data will be generated. In the extraction phase, the response values are pulled back into HyperStudy and visible to us. 
The next step is to define the output response that is supposed to be optimized. Since we are defining it using a file, we click on file assistant and then select hyperstudy output file that is automatically generated during our definition step. Select single item in time series as we have plotted a single output parameter. Click on next and observe the extracted value of the output parameter. Once you do that, click on next and then click on finish. Once this setup is complete, we click on the evaluate option and observe the value of the variable change to the extracted value. This value should be the same as one we had seen in post figure. On the left hand side, you will see all the green check marks for all the definition steps that we were supposed to define. Once the FECO model is set up in HyperStudy, the next step is to add an optimization using the same model files. Right click on the setup and click on add. From the list, select optimization. A preferred label can also be added in any case. Click on next and evaluate all the steps to run an optimization. The steps with green checks are completed from the basic definition. Click on run definition again and wait till HyperStudy performs the three tests again. When defining the output response, add a goal to minimize the value of S11 or reflection coefficient. Click on OK, then click on Next. When the following steps allows user to select an optimization algorithm, users can observe the maximum iterations required by a particular algorithm on the right hand side of the user interface. We select GRSM and then click on apply. As we click on evaluate tasks, HyperStudy drives FECO and solves for all the iterations decided by the algorithm. While the optimization is running, users can also evaluate the values of the output or the S11 by observing many plots that show details about the iterations being performed. Plots like evaluation data will show you the values of the parameters that are being used and the corresponding values of S11. Evaluation plot will show the values of the S11 and the evaluation scatter will plot all the values as bullets on a same plot. Once all the iterations are simulated, users should be able to see all the iterations as successful under the evaluation tasks tab. The corresponding values of any goals defined with respect to design variables can be individually observed under the evaluation data tab. Users can also look at optimization summaries like evaluation plot and iteration plot that help understand how the goal was achieved by varying the input variable to what degree. In the post-processing step, 
Hyper study provides optimum value of the design variable that has helped achieve the goal. So what you see on screen is the value of the length and the width of the radiating patch providing us the minimized value of S11. After observing the post-processing results in HyperStudy, if we want to verify this on a post-processing step in PostPico, the model file with the optimized variable can be found in the directory by referring to the evaluation number in the iteration history plot. So it is clear from the slide that iteration 49 seems to be optimal. So if I go back to the directory where all these models are saved, I can find the required model file in the run 00049 folder. After opening the Opening the results, I see that the value was the reflection coefficient was minimized to minus 30 dB using optimization in hyperstudy, which was originally close to minus 2.45 dB. This tells me that my design is now optimized to radiate at 2.44 gigahertz. Thank you very much for viewing this video. If you have any more questions or want to explore or want to have more information, then you can visit Altair's website or reach out to us. Thank you.